up? So today I'm going to be sharing something really personal. It is my everyday makeup drawer slash basket. And the reason that I say that is because my drawers, I like to keep my whole collection, but I have like this little mint green uh, basket right next to my drawers slash drawer. It kind of looks like a drawer, but it's a basket. You'll see what I'm talking about. And I keep all of my everyday essential kind of things in there. Sometimes the palettes that I am using or have been trying out are in there. So uh, I guess this is a big old thing here on YouTube. So I thought, why not do it? Why not share with you what's in that personal little basket? If you like these type of videos, give this video a big fat thumbs up and I will make sure to do more of these type of videos. Also, Make sure that you hit that subscribe button because on Friday I'm going to show you how to do this makeup look, which is a holiday makeup look so gorgeous, I know. I know. I know. I thought I would let you guys know, give you a chance to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, let's get straight into this uh, makeup drawer. Okay, so now that we have my drawer up here on this counter, I can kind of go through what I have in here. Um, first off, this is the Master Palette by Mario from Anastasia Beverly Hill. This is what I wore today. And um, yeah, there's just really pretty colors in here and I've been getting into it and kind of using it up and trying it out. Um, and I really like it so far, so that's what I have. Then this little thing right here, which is the Pears uh, Soap. I guess soap brows are kind of the big thing right now, and so I bought this soap from Amazon to go ahead and try out some soap brows. So if you guys want to see a tutorial talking about that, um, just give me a comment down below, but I think I probably will do one. But yeah, that's what I got. I haven't even opened it. I just got this today. Then I have this other palette right here. This is the Itzy palette. Um, it's basically kind of like a Z palette and you put in your eyeshadows and blushes and whatnot. And these are all Itzy uh, bronzer, blush, powder, and then eyeshadows. And uh, yeah, so this one's called Key Large and uh, it's a really pretty blush. I really, really do like it really pretty. Um, more summery, I feel like, for me, but I absolutely love these. And I've had this for a while, and the reason that it's in here is because lately I've been loving these two colors right here. This is what I've been doing practically every day. This in the crease kind of as a transition, and this in the crease as well, just very lightly to give me a light color. But they're really pretty colors, and I feel like they go together really nicely, and it looks really romantic and just clean and beautiful whenever I do this very lightly. Um, so I've kind of been doing that and I absolutely love this right here for kind of that inner corner bright shade. So it's really, really nice. Then I have this mirror. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It was actually gifted to me, uh, but it's a really good mirror and so I tend to really like to use this and I drop things. So I don't care if I drop this one because it's from the Dollar Tree. So yeah. Then of course I have my tools. So this is the e.l.f. eyelash curler, which I absolutely love. Also for grooming my eyebrows and actually clipping eyebrow or um, plucking eyebrow hairs, I love this eyebrow plucker. I think this one's a Revlon one. But then of course I have a sharpener for like liner pencils or whatnot. I don't know why I cannot talk today, guys. <laughs> know what's going on anyways moving on this is the this is the Laura Mercier um, hydrating primer I absolutely love this and especially now that it's getting cooler I really really like this and in combination I absolutely love this with the fit me uh, matte and poreless which I just bought another one of I'm in the shade 220 and I absolutely love this this is kind of this is what I have on today so I love this so again I have this on so I always have a, my foundation that I'm wearing 
in my little drawer. Then I have a concealer that I love to wear. This is my favorite. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I absolutely love this and I need to get a full size. I'm running low so I'm kind of saving it but whenever I really need some extra coverage this pretty much does it for me. Then I have this that I had recently found. It's like a Kiss eyelash like helper outer. I don't know what to call it. Instead of using um, tweezers, you're supposed to use these and they're supposed to be safer, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like it. I wish it was longer for me. And this is what I've been using lately to apply my lashes. This I got at Sally's. They have it in the front right by the um, cash register and I got like a blonde redhead type of lady one they have all different kinds but i thought this one kind of matched my hair a little bit more so i just got this one it was only a dollar so it's really really nice tweezers i don't know if you can tell they come together really nicely so you can tweeze your eyes with this but i absolutely love using this for lashes it's dangerous i know but i do it anyways then i have a bunch of like hydrating lip things these this is the vaseline um therapy vaseline therapy lip therapy and um, I love these and so I definitely have one in here always. I also have my lip exfoliator by e.l.f. This is the one I recently got. It's the minty one and I really love it and I use this every single day so it has to be in here. Um, no joke, I use this every day and it's absolutely amazing. I love it, love it, love it. Then I have my eye primers. This is a thank me later. I love using this. I practically use this every single day. Um, and I also have two of these uh, Mary Kay Signature eye primers because I love these too. These are more on the sticky side. This is kind of more smooth. Um, but I really like these ones, obviously, since I have two of them. But I always have a bunch of eye primers in here so I can alternate depending on what I'm doing. And then I have this. This is like my new favorite lash adhesive. This one is from Kiss. It's a strip lash adhesive with aloe. And um, it's the black one and I absolutely love it. And I use it today and I think it's probably one of my favorites. Then of course I have this lash adhesive. This one is the one I've been telling you guys about. This one is latex free and it's clear and it is a brush. Um, a brush tip. The other day I found my son like <laughs> eating it. It was scary and terrible and I thought he was going to die, but of course my husband has to calm me down, but uh, I really like this one. Again, a really good one. Then of course I have uh, scotch tape in here because a lot of my looks I use scotch tape. It's just super easy and uh, recommend it for those crisp, crisp lines. I have a nail polish in here. I don't know why I am not wearing it right now. But it is the um, Wet n Wild uh, Mega Last Nail Polish. Then I have some eyebrow pencils. This one here is the e.l.f. one. Um, and this one's okay. It's only $2. I have this on today. And I've lately been loving mixing this one with this one from Anastasia in Soft Brown. Just because this one's soft and so um, a soft brown. So it looks good with my hair but mixed with the other one for my bald spots it just is perfect so i really like these two right now i'm digging them i'm digging them then i have this one this is the flower beauty um eyebrow pencil which i absolutely love it's empty it is an empties but um i just have it in here to remind me to go pick up another one because this is absolutely my favorite at the moment like eyebrow pencil ever drugstore or high-end I'm going to have this one again. It's empty. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. And uh, it's super, super, super thin. Not my favorite. I think it's too creamy and it kind of fades really quickly. But uh, this is a good drugstore pencil too. Then I have my favorite mascara of the moment. This is the Limelight Mascara. And it is a fiber mascara. Um, and I absolutely love this. And I have to have it like all the time. So I absolutely love this mascara. It's awesome. Then I have my Maybelline Brow Drama um, Mascara, Clear Mascara, which is not clear anymore, but uh, I still really like it. I'm actually becoming more and more impressed with it, but if the soap thing works, I'll probably just end up doing this. That. This is the HSI Argan Oil. I'm not quite sure why I have this in there. I probably should use it, but they sent this to me with a straightener a long time ago. Not really into that. 
Um, then I have the e.l.f. this duo I've been obsessed with. This is a bronzing and highlighting duo. It's what I have on today. I actually contoured with this, you guys. And even though it's like you can see it's like shiny, I actually really, really like it on the cheeks. Like it's really, really gorgeous. So I've been liking this and I've had this in there. I'm going to have the lashes I had on today, which is the LA Colors Dramati Lash in Darling. You can find these at Walmart for only a dollar. So I'll pick that up. I have that in here, of course. Then I have this concealer. It's the Better Skin Concealer. I've been trying it out and using it um, non-stop. So, of course, it's in here. I love this for, like, a no-makeup makeup look concealer, actually. I absolutely really do like this. I've only picked it up a couple days ago, but I like it so far. Then I have a... What is this here? It's the Alaskan Glacier Mask Co. Um, it's the unscented one. Uh, I probably should do a mask on my face pretty soon, but I have this in here to remind me to try the unscented one. I you guys, remember this little thing? This thing has been in here forever. It's from the Dollar Tree. It's a nail polish corrector pen. I probably should try it so that you guys can kind of see if it works or not because it is from the Dollar Tree. I never did an update for that video because it was so small. Let's open it right now and I'll correct like this little like smudge I did. All right, this is kind of what it looks like here. I'm not sure why it has like two sides here. I'm not sure, but let's see if it does anything. Oh yeah, this side definitely has. It's not saturated enough. I mean, it's taking it off. Let's see, it worked there. Am I supposed to do the other tip to dry it off or what? I don't understand this. But it worked. I mean, it took off the nail polish, so I guess that's good. So it kind of works, and it's only a dollar, so you can definitely try it out. But okay, cool. Then I have my beauty blender, which I definitely need to wash. Then, of course, I have my Carmex. This is an old fave. I used to wear this before a tutorial every single time here on my YouTube. Like, I used to show you guys this. I still love Carmex. It's, like, amazing. But oh, I have... Like random little trash, so of course a hairband. And then this is the last thing. I guess this is another Glacier mask. This one is the Lavender Peppermint um, one. I have the tub that I've been using, but I uh, haven't tried these little packets yet. So, cool. That's about it. That's everything in my drawer. Ooh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you really enjoyed kind of going behind the scenes and checking out my little makeup drawer slash basket. I don't like saying slash basket, but I'm being completely honest. With you. Don't forget, you guys, don't leave without hitting my little face down there. It will subscribe you to my channel and then just click the little bell bing, to uh, be notified of, of all my uploads. And check out my social media. I am on Snapchat right over there. I am on all my social media information is listed. Go follow me there. Come say hi to me. I love you guys. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.